Unfortunately, I think 9-11 made our country recognize the importance of being able to communicate with people um, from language groups other than our own. That is part of our national security. But I think a broader recognition that it's not simply knowing the languages of other people, it's understanding other cultures, knowing how different people's cultures help them understand the world around them, how they make sense of reality, and how our own view of reality may be very different from those of others. And good language teaching and language learning results in a deeper understanding of how uh, culture shapes how you define experience. And if we're ever going to secure peace in this world, um, it's going to be by communicating freely and effectively across linguistic and cultural borders. The future isn't different from what we imagine. The future is different from anything we can imagine. And when you think about that, and you think about how can schools prepare kids for that kind of a world, you have to give them every possible resource at their disposal um, with the tools to learn more. At one time, English was the primary language of digital communication. Right now, more digital communication or electronic communication, whether it's web-based or email, takes place in languages other than English than in English. We think that business takes place around the board table. And in American culture, it probably does. All the conversations around the co conference table. But there are so many places where the real business takes place on the golf course and in the, and the dinner table and in the private conversations out in the hallways. And more often than not, those are the conversations that are not in English. And Americans who can't function beyond the conference table and beyond the boardroom are being shut out of important opportunities for themselves, for their communities, and for our country as a whole.